Hey everybody, welcome back to Revan News. I'm Joe Sebergani and I told you I'd find him. And there was a reason why I couldn't find him. He was being inducted into the Grand National Roadster Hall of Fame. Revan News viewers, say hi to Bobby Alloway. Bobby, welcome to Revan News. Thank you, sir. Congratulations on the induction to the Hall of Fame. I said, well, wait a minute. What do you mean he's inducted to the Hall of Fame? I thought he would be the first person inducted to the Hall of Fame. No, I think there's a problem. I think they've run out of people to induct. So they're, they're down to the bottom of the barrel. Uh, this particular vehicle has been getting a lot of attention, this 33. Uh, I noticed it's got those Ohio-style flames. In the tri this is, I guess, the epitome of a Bobby Alloway car in a, in a thumbnail, wouldn't you say? Yes, that's. Uh, I like black. I like flames. I like motors. I like big tires. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is this is what we do. These Ohio-style flames. Can you give our viewers a little bit of an idea of the origin and how that came up? A guy by the name of Bob Oney had a coupe that I really did like that had those flames on it, and he. Uh, I tried to buy the car from him. He wouldn't sell it to me because he said, he said I, I would, me and him wouldn't be friends after I sold it to him. So he never would tell me who did the flames on the car. Well, finally, I found out, and it was a guy by the name of Wade Hughes and Bill Rail. They called Bill Rail Short Round. He was about this tall and about that big around. But Josh Shaw actually laid these flames out on this car. But, and we, we did some paint work in the shop there. But they come to the shop now to do them. So it's a great job they did. Those wheels, uh, they're, they're patterned after an ET3 wheel that, that, that they made years ago, and I've always liked them, and uh, I hate to say I put them on about everything. So, I mean, it's, it, they seem to look different on each car. Actually, everything you see is fake. It's a 241 DeSoto Hemi 1955 red ram, but Strongbirds were, uh, they, they asked me when we were judging the car when I drove it through, how did it run, and I said, well, it runs great because the carburetors are dry. They have no fuel in them. They're, we use them for throttle bodies. It's injected in the heads. Everything's hid. So everything you're looking at is fake on the car. Uh, the wheelbase on this car is stretched uh, two inches, and the hood top is stock length. The reason I did that was to bring the grill out to lay the grill back. The doors are, are two-door sedan doors, which is four inches longer. The cockpit's opened up in the, in the car. Uh, the windshield is chopped, laid back about three inches, it's chopped too. The rear fenders are bobbed three inches. You don't want to screw with a 33 Ford. That's the reason I don't mess with it a whole lot. I just lay it down, make it look a little sleeker and try not to mess with it. Henry did a good job in 33, so. All that hard work was soon to pay off, however, when the winner of the Grand National Roadster Show 2015 was announced. Very awesome, 33 Ford. This is on my bucket list, and we did her, and I just can't believe it, and I am so happy, and uh, it's, it's, it's a great show, and uh, it's worth every, every penny. <laughs> we put the engine in this car last Sunday, and we've worked very hard for this deal. This, you know, this is the biggest year we've had. It's 18 contenders this year, which is unreal, which that's great for the sport because it's coming up, but it's, it's wonderful. I mean, you're being judged by your peers, and like you say, this is the biggest show on earth. At the judging criteria this year, or the last three or four years, we had to drive through. And the, the judges look at the car, listen to the car, see how you fit in the car, see how the car stands. It needs to do everything, it needs to work, it needs to do everything right. So that's, that's very important, it's very nerve wracking on a brand new car. Because it's got to be first time shown too, so you haven't had it anywhere. My youngest guy's been with us about 10 years, my oldest guy's been with me since we started. So. You do what you say you're going to do. You, I mean, you, you stay. I mean, as old saying goes, you dance with the people that took you to the dance. And uh, I'm, I'm 59 years old right now. I've been in this since I was probably 17 or 18. And, and I've tried to do that all through the deal. And, and I've created a style, they say. I don't know. It's just what I build. But, but I haven't changed. I've I mean, that's all I know. So, uh, I mean, that's, I think that's the key to it. 